Like this is like a little kitchenette area in the Capitol on the House of Representatives side. Uh, there was a, a note card left behind on that coffee maker and it reads, see this broken glass democracy was you made the rules and the citizens obeyed. Well, as you can see, you find out the hard way you take citizens for granted, expecting us to vote for your approved candidates, then shut up until the next election. Thomas Jefferson is smiling at all this mess. He's happy that we had to do this. Now enjoy your coffee and learn your lesson. The American people are silent no more. That was left on this note card and placed on the kitchenette uh, coffee maker. Let's walk down the corridor here. Again, we're on the east side of the Capitol on the House of Representatives side, and this is an entry door. It appears those are bullet holes on the glass on the right-hand door. Again, it appears those are bullet holes. Uh, unclear if those uh, apparent bullet holes came from the inside or outside. Uh, below it, there is a uh, sticker that says Joe Biden is not my president. Uh, Drew, if you don't mind coming off those bullet holes and we'll walk down this way. And this is all very fluid uh, and, um, you know, there are a lot of police down here, but they certainly have not cleared people from the Capitol. Um, it's it's free reign. Uh, we just walked up here and, and saw this broken window. Now, you would imagine that there are uh, police on the other side of the, the kitchenette uh, inside the Capitol, making sure people can't breach entry. Uh, but walk over this way here and you'll see just the the sheer number of pro-Trump protesters that uh, are out here. Obviously, there are, are many more on the west side of the Capitol. And Drew, if you don't mind uh, zooming in where you were, but on those uh, police vehicles, and uh, there's a black tank um, used by SWAT teams and such, and there are people standing on that. It reminds me of the uh, Black Lives Matter and Antifa protests that we saw earlier, uh, or in 2020, in, in late May, when people were standing on top of Secret Service vehicles um, uh, right outside the White House and just something you never expect to see.